hello guys so today's topic for the video is secondary active transport i'm going to explain it in detail along with all the concepts so let us start without wasting any time so secondary active transport is basically a part of active transport here we are going to know the types of active transport it is mainly of three types as per the physiology is concerned primary secondary and vesicular transport all these are the active transports okay in this video we are going to discuss only about the secondary active transport first coming to the definition secondary active transport so basically the uphill or against the concentration gradient okay the uphill means against concentration gradient transport or uphill transport of a solute is coupled okay i will explain the whole meaning in the next part okay so it is coupled to downhill or towards in favor of concentration gradient of another solute okay is coupled to the downhill transport of another solute which has earlier been transported uphill okay via primary active transport okay so therefore this second solute to, to which the primary solute is coupled okay is basically has already been transported uphill by a primary active transport now i am going to discuss or the concept okay i am going to discuss or tell the concept of what i just wrote in wrote in theory so suppose this is the ground and on one side there is a seesaw you know no? what a seesaw in parks it is present and on one side of the seesaw there is of 50 kg weight okay this is a 50 kg ball on one side or the right hand side of the seesaw and the left hand side is empty okay so because the weight is heavier the right side is down okay gravity is pulling it now here you consider the support and over the support is a motor or you can say a motorized pulley which is designed to pull weight upwards or drop them downwards okay and this pulley is of course running on electricity so this electricity is basically the energy input we are giving okay this electricity is the energy input this is the electric motor okay and it is going to now pull up a 100 kg weight okay this motor is connected to a 100 kg weight okay so consider this 100 kg weight as the primary solute uh, uh, not the primary solute the solute that is being transported against its concentration gradient or uphill and the electricity is the atp okay the consider electricity as atp you are providing atp and in return of that you are able to put this 100 kg weight against gravity or uphill okay this is the primary active transport okay now this 100 kg weight you have put it up at a very higher ground and therefore it has high potential energy stored in it now what we are what happens in secondary active transport is this 100 kg weight is gonna be used to transport the 50 kg weight uphill see now this 100 kg weight is suppose is dropped on the empty or the left side of the pulley which is now downhill because it has lower potential energy going from higher to lower and this 50 kg weight is gonna be transported upwards or uphill against gravity okay now you see that both these are coupled the 100 kg it is another one solute and the 50 kg is another solute this 50 kg part is taking part in secondary active transport mainly this is being transported via secondary active transport the 100 kg actually provides the energy needed for this secondary active transport now consider this cell okay 
this is the primary active transport the solute x is been carried out of the cell against its concentration gradient one molecule of atp is also being used up so this is the primary active transport where solute x is being transported uphill okay now there is another solute y which has higher concentration within the cell but low concentration outside the cell okay which is opposite for x now this x will be transported or coupled with the transport of y see now it is going towards this concentration gradient from higher outside to lower inside x and y is growing against its concentration gradient so this is basically secondary active transport so hope you guys like the video if you found this video useful then please do like and share with your friends and also subscribe to my youtube channels you can check out my instagram and telegram neighborhood medico as mentioned here below